What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight's... Tonight! Who? Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Megan, I don't even know if it's a him or a them or or what. Um, oof. I I'm going to assume it's a them. I I'm going to assume it's a group. Uh, so Megan, their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! I hope it's a them. We have Ved Blends Ende. Yes, indeed. How about that? Ved Blends Ende making their debut on the channel. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. And I hope it's a group. <laughs> I, have, I know nothing about this. Okay. Uh, this is a request by The Upper Butt. Did you not? The Upper Butt. Uh, the Upper Butt's requested on the channel before. Uh, the Upper Butt wanted to see me react to this song. It is Ved Blends Ende with a song called I Sang for the Swans. Now. Have I heard the song before? No. And, and to be perfectly honest with you, I've never even heard of this I, again. I don't know if this is an individual or a group. I'm assuming it's a group. I've never heard of this group before. Uh, so I think it's pretty safe to say that I've never heard the song before. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So it's always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, oh man, are you serious? I've heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by G Drone T, and the video has 2,953 views. Eh, not gonna get you there, sorry. Look, I, I'm sure the song is fine, I'm sure the video is fine. I'm just saying, you know, 2,953 views, it's it's not gonna get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. That Buen's Ende, I sang for the swans. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this!
Oh, boy. Okay. Um. I'm kind of having flashback to Daughters and Captain Beefheart, but not quite that bad. Uh, well, I, I maybe Captain Beefheart. Not not as bad as Daughters. Da I don't think anything will ever be worse than Daughters. Um, That's the truth. Then, I, then again, I haven't heard everything yet, so I, who knows? We might have that one band come along that just might outdo Daughters. Who knows? Okay, l let's talk about this. Um... The drumming is actually really good. Uh, the drumming is tight. They, 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 the drummer has done some really nice fills. Uh, very tight, really helping to keep the song moving forward. Um, I got to give a shout out to the bass player, too. I'm hearing some great moving lines within him with what his playing is, is doing and contributing to the song. Um, it's really, again, like the drums, it's helping to move the song forward. The guitar playing, if I'm being honest here, I would call mediocre at best. Uh, it is following the exact same pattern uh, every time. One, flat five, flat two, uh, is completely bound in dissonance with absolutely no resolution whatsoever. Nothing but pure dissonant chords. Um, and for those of you that know anything about me, I, I got no problem with dissonance. I enjoy dissonance. As long as it goes somewhere, it serves a purpose, and it resolves. Now, is this going anywhere? Not really. It, it, it stayed on E for like over a minute, went up to A for about another minute, and now it's going back down to E, but following the exact same chordal structure. One. Flat five, flat two. That's it. It's doing the exact same thing, causing nothing but pure dissonance with absolutely no resolution whatsoever. So, is it serving a purpose? I can't really say it's it's serving a purpose when it's not moving. It, I mean, it, it, okay, it is moving. It moved from the one to the four, back down to the one. Did it move? By definition, by letter of the law, it did move. Not by much, though. Um, serving a purpose? Uh, just trying to prove how dissonant a song can be, I guess, uh, while moving? Um, is it resolving? No. That, that's my big hang-up. That's my big, my big checkmark strike against this, is the fact that it is not resolved one time. It is gone straight Nothing but dissonance. And like I said, I got no problem with dissonance. As long as it serves a purpose, it goes somewhere, and it resolves. Did it match the first two up? Barely. It, it did, by, like I said, in, in a court of law, it would hold up. It, it did do the first two qualifications, sure. Um, it's a stretch, but it, it does. It does not meet the third, though. It's not resolving. So I'm not, I am not digging the song as a whole. Like I said, the drumming is good. The drumming is really good. And so is the bass playing. Um, the, the, the guitar playing, I would call mediocre at best. Mediocre at best. Um, let's keep going here. Drumming is tight. Back up into the A again. Five, 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 two.
the vocals are interesting. In some ways, in some areas, the vocals are helping. In other areas, the vocals are actually detracting. And then in other areas, the vocals are having absolutely no impact on the song whatsoever. Um, it's kind of a wash when it comes to the vocals and what they're doing for the song. Um, I am hearing the major third down to the minor third, up to the major third before it modulates down to the sixth. So I, I'm hearing that it, it's helping. It, it is helping, but then when it gets to the six, it just myriads around in that dissonance. It doesn't, it doesn't resolve at all within that six. It doesn't, it doesn't move. It doesn't, it doesn't evolve. It just sits there until it goes magically back up to the one for that third, that triad, that major triad, to the minor triad, back to the major triad, and then it moves down to the sixth again. And it's just like, oh my god, you you start to make some progress. With those triads, I'm, I'm starting to hear a little bit of resolution. That's good. And then <sighs> down to that six, where it just, just seriously sits in the doldrums of dissonance and does absolutely nothing to help itself move or grow or evolve. It's like, oh God, why bother? Why bother doing it? If it's not gonna, if it's not gonna contribute to the song in any way, why bother putting it in there? I, I don't get it. It, it. It's like, it's like that, oh God, it's like that kid that gives up for, to take his swings at bat, and he, you know, here come the pitches, and the kid doesn't even swing, you know? It's like, he just stands there, holding the bat, and there goes, you know, strike one, ball one, strike two, ball two, ball three, Strike three, and he doesn't even take his bat off the shoulder. It's like, okay, well, hey, good, good, good attempt, Junior. Good try. Hey, we're proud of you. Good, good effort. What effort? He didn't even take his bat off the shoulder. He didn't even swing. You know, I, 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 I don't get it. How, 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 how can you honestly sit there and cheer that? How, how can you honestly sit there and say, hey, great effort? What, what effort? <laughs> what effort? He he didn't even take his he didn't even lift the bat off of his shoulder. He didn't even do that. He, for, forget swinging. He didn't even do this. <laughs> I just, ah, ah. That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful to to perform like that. Like I said, the, look, I appreciate the drumming. The drumming is sick. The drumming is sick on this. I'm hearing some fantastic fills. Some great drum work. And I can appreciate what the bass player is trying to do. I, I listen to the bass work. It, it feels like the bass line is trying to establish a some semblance of a melodic line. Like it's trying, but it's it can only go so far. You know, it, there's only so much the bass player can do. So yeah, I, I I give the bass player props for trying to form some semblance of a melodic line. Hey, I, I give him all the, now that's effort. He's trying. The drummer is putting in work. Like I said, the guitar player, it it's very middle of the road for me. The songwriting, <laughs> I, I, I wish I could call it creative, but the thing is I've heard other bands do this exact same thing. So I, I can't even call it creative. It's not, it's not creative. I've heard other bands do it. Better too. Better than this. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I hate giving bad scores, man. I do. I, I don't like giving bad scores, but I'm going to give this a score I feel it deserves. And I can tell you right now, nine. Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> nine are you kidding nine no way never in a million years eight no god no seven get out of here no chance six never <laughs> never five <laughs> maybe in some alternate universe maybe maybe on maybe on earth 26 you know i it, for those of you that are DC fans, you, you know what I'm talking about.
Or Earth-22, how about that one? That'd be even better. I don't even know if Superman in Earth-22 would tolerate this. Um, no, I, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know where this is going to end up. I really don't. I'm going to have to take everything into account, obviously. Oof. So, we got a drummer who is working his ass off. He really is. We, we got a bass player who is really putting in effort and really trying. We got guitar players who are being an absolute non-factor in this as far as being impressive or being or sounding good. It just, it's very middle of the road. We got vocalists who are ab absolutely adding nothing to this at all. They are, they are completely irrelevant in this song. They're not contributing to this song in any way, shape, or fun, good or bad. They're, they're completely irrelevant. Songwriting that, like I said, I, I can't even call it creative. I, I, I can't. Because, like I said, I've heard other bands do stuff like this, and they've done it better. So, I mean, I... Ugh. Zappa comes to mind right off the top of the gun. Zappa, right off the top of my head. Zappa immediately comes to mind. And I can't stand Zappa. But at least I can see that what Zappa did, at least... I, I, at the time, it was creative, you know? I can't even call this creative. Um... Well, you're probably wondering why I'm talking so much. It's because I, I don't want to push play. I really don't. I, I really don't want to push play. I don't want to listen to this anymore. It's not offensive. It's not offending me, but it's... I just really don't want to push play. I really don't. Ugh. God. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Push play. Push play. Push it. Push it. Push it. <sighs> God. Uh. Resolve the end, can they? They're just they're not gonna even resolve the last note. Man. Oh, 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 ah. Ah. Ah.
I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Hopefully, not for too long. Well, there you go, folks. That was Ved Buen's Ende with I Sang for the Swans. This was a request from The Upper Butt, who I am convinced is just trolling me on this song. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, but I'll be honest with you folks, I really didn't have to think very long. Uh, I, I gave it the best score I could possibly think of. And it's... You, well, you'll see. You'll, you'll see. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 4.7. <laughs> Yep, 4.7. Uh, I don't feel good about giving that kind of a score, but that is the score I honestly feel this song deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? I already stated this during my reaction, but I'm just going to quickly restate what I said. <sighs> From a songwriting standpoint, this was very unimaginative. I've heard other bands take this exact same approach, even taking this exact same chordal structure of the chordal flow of the one to the flat five to the flat two. I, I, I've heard that before. Go all the way back to Zappa for that. I mean, you, you, you'll you hear it several times in some of Zappa's material. Um, so I can't even say it's imaginative. I, I, I can't even call it creative. I can't even really call it original because you're probably honest with you folks, it really isn't. The songwriting, uninspired, unimaginative. Uh, the guitar playing was mediocre at best. Um, it, it was very simple, following the exact same pattern every single time. The vocals in this were an absolute non-factor. They could have stayed, they could have left. They had absolutely zero impact on the song because the way I see it, there were some parts where I could hear them trying, like on those triads, like when they were on the root and they were doing the major triad to the minor triad, back up to the major triad. There's a resolution, but right as they resolve, they go down to the flat six where they stayed in obscurity and did not move until it went back up to the one again. Ugh, it's like, are you serious? Like, and then there were other parts where it was just, I was just completely indifferent to. So, I mean, it, it's all kind of a wash. Uh, they could have come. They could have stayed. They could have left. They could have never appeared. It would not have made any difference to me whatsoever. The vocals, I, was, I did not find anything inspiring or impressive whatsoever. Now, I'm throwing a lot of negativity at this song. So, a lot of people are probably wondering, if I hate the song that much, why am I not giving it like a one? You know, or a zero. Two things, two factors, and they are the bass player and the drummer. Let's start with the bass player. The bass player was putting in work. He really, or she, really was. I mean, whoever the bass player is, was doing everything that they could do to try and move this song along from a melodic standpoint. I heard the bass player on several occasions make attempts, tried, to make a melodic line happen within that dissonant chordal structure that had absolutely zero resolution in it. There's only so much the bass player can do. And there's that, and to be honest with you, uh, the, the bass player can even have less impact on that than the guitar would have. I mean, let, let's be honest here. The guitar player is what was setting the chords up the whole time. So the bass player has to work within those chords. There's only so much the bass player can do to resolve and have a melodic line that resolves when there is no resolution happening within the chordal structure as defined by what the guitar player is playing. I heard the bass player trying though, man. I really did. The bass player was moving around. They weren't creating melodic lines. Unfortunately, they were never resolving. So that is not the bass player's fault. The bass player was just going along but what was being thrown at him. And I don't blame him for that, okay? He was putting in work. He was definitely putting in the effort. 
and I liked what I heard from him. Now, the drummer, probably the highlight of, for me on this song. The drummer was, I, I, you know, you talk about the bass player work, putting in work, the drummer was putting in even more work. Uh, rhythmically, this was some impressive work by the drummer. Some great fills, some great setups, uh, and a really simple, basic groove to help keep the song very driven by the ride uh, and the and the kick, which was nice, uh, nice here and that it, it fit the it definitely fit the mode and the and the tone and the mood of the song. Again, there's only so much the drummer can do, but the drummer was working his or her tail off, especially with those fills. Some very impressive and tasty fills. Very nice work by the drummer. The drummer and the bass player single handedly the two of them combined pulled this kicking and screaming out of the ones i i didn't put it in the zeros i i would not have put it in the zeros i don't think it was as bad as daughters but it was pretty close i would have put this down like you know 1.3 1.4 had it not been for the bass player and the drummer the bass player and the drummer literally dragged this kicking and screaming out of the ones into the fours i was that impressed by what the drummer and the bass player were doing so impressed that I literally moved it over three whole points because I was so impressed with what they were doing or what they were at least trying to accomplish. So I gotta give them credit for that. Is a 4.7 a horrible score? No, that would be down the ones. 4.7 by definition is not very good. And that is exactly what I would call this. It's not very good. If you're listening to this song as a drummer or as a bass player, like myself, you might be able to get some enjoyment out of this if you focus completely on the drumming and the bass playing and you block everything else out. I mean completely out. Completely just ignore everything else. You might get some enjoy. <clears throat> Excuse me. You might get some enjoyment out of this. But that honestly is really the only way I can see that happening. Now I'm sure there are gonna be people who are gonna say that this is brilliant and this is amazing, and they think this is just the greatest thing in the world since sliced bread. Hey, you know what? Good on you, congratulations. If that is what you honestly and truly believe, I'm not gonna try and discredit you. I'm not gonna try and sit here and say that you're nuts, or you're insane, or you're out of your mind. Listen, you're going to enjoy what you're going to enjoy, okay? That is absolutely your opinion, and you are certainly entitled to it just as I am entitled to mine, and I'm sure there's gonna be a number of people who agree with me, this was not fun to listen to at all. But I'm still giving in the 4.7 completely because of what I, how impressed I was by the bass player and by the drummer. So, 4.7 is where we're at, 4.7 is where we're gonna stay. 4.7, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.